Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. So <clears throat> today I'm going to take a look at uh, Aurea and uh, a couple of its effects, well, <clears throat> one or two of them. Okay, so Aurea is uh, a DAW, it's probably the most advanced DAW available on iOS. It's it's brilliant. It's brilliant. It's more akin to a professional uh, uh, DAW. <clears throat> My personal preference is Cubases because it's fast and it's easy and it can use MIDI. Uh, this doesn't use MIDI, it just, it's for recording audio, but it does work with audio bus, so that's fine, you know, you can get anything in here. Um, it's not, it's not um, the simplest DAW, okay, so, but it's very, very professional, and very, very good. So anyway, I've set up this little thing to demonstrate certain things. I've got some drums, which I just imported from Drum Loops HD, and uh, put together for some fills and stuff, and I stuck the drums into the um, subgroup one because I like subgroup one's effects. Okay, we'll, we'll get to that in a sec. And then I used um, Korg M1 uh, VST to record three three tracks and and the, and some 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 bass. Okay, so this is what I've got so far. So there's not the, the the drum track is has been affected and frozen, which I'll explain in a sec. But there's no effects on the uh, the four the four M1 tracks. Okay, so this is what we have. So this this is the, the little little thing that I've put together. So we're going to affect this. <laughs> So what we're going to do, first of all, is we're just going to pop over to the, the wave screen. Now I've already set up some loop points here, but I'm I'm not set to loop. So here we have the drums, M1's voice, M1FM, M1 stab, and the what we and the bass. What I'm going to do is just affect for this uh, section of the video. I'm going to just affect the M M1 voice. So track two, basically. So first of all, I'm going to just hit here and then hit loop. And this will loop my markers uh, once it starts. So let me just get that playing. So what we're going to do is, is affect this second track here. The um I think I'll just take should take it back to no it doesn't. Why is it why no it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. What we're gonna do is just affect this track here. Okay, so first of all I'm going to let it start playing. And I'm gonna solo this track. to effects. Now, I'm not going to use the channel strip, I'm going to leave that as it is. What I'm going to do is going to put some insert effects in here. So Now, the effects, the, the plugins that you can get for, for Aurea are expensive. They range from about $15 to about $40. So you be careful what you choose. I have FabFilter, <coughs> Overloud, uh, Volcano. Uh, so, so I have Pro-G, Saturn, Timeless 2, Volcano, and an and Overloud. There's, they're the only ones that I bought because they're, cause they're so expensive. So um, they, they were the ones that mo most suitable for me. So I'm going to use Volcano 2 here. So I'm just going to select Volcano 2, and I'm going to select it as Stereo, okay, because it's a stereo track, basically. Now, straight away, you'll hear some of the, the absolutely incredible things that this thing will do. So... That's just the default setting. Here we can choose. So we've got arps and sequences here. Okay, 
and all this can be automated very, very easily. But watch, keep an eye on your CPU up here. Let's choose another one. You can modulate root modulation pretty much anywhere you like. Of course, you can move it out the way. So you now you're completely, completely altered in the sound of the sequence. And these are just the presets. Phaser of flanges. So I'm going to write, I'm going to add some automation to that now. So what we need to do is press right. CPU starting to creep up here. So I'm what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say well I'm I'm, I'm going to keep that I'm I'm quite happy with that. So what what we can do now is just let's um, close that there. Now you can do anything else. Now you can add another you can add another for insert effects and stuff or what you've got but a, <clears throat> a really important thing to remember at this point is to freeze this track okay because you're gonna you're gonna blow your ipad up with cpu usage you know it's not going to be able to deal with it at all so you just hit this little snowflake here and it'll say freezing track Now, once you've frozen the track, you can't alter it no more. You can adjust the volume and stuff, but that's about it. And you'll have this big snowflake in the middle here. So we can close that. Let's have a listen. But it's still automated. Everything still works fine. And let's drop it back into the mix. Right, so before I go any further, you can notice that the CPU is now not doing anything at all. So I dropped that down, didn't I? Oh, I, oh, you see what I've done? Because I'm still on right, it's written in my... It wrote in my uh, fader drop. Now, before I go any further, just let me <clears throat> explain what I did with the drums. So I froze the drums as well, but any time you want to make any more adjustments, you just hit this, and it unfreezes again. You can see I had three. I had Saturn, Pro G, and, and a classic verb as the insert effects there. Now, I've unfrozen it. You can see the, the CPU goes back up to usage. So let's just refreeze that. So now that's really frozen, we're back to pretty much no uh, usage on a CPU at all. Now the only other effects, now I did add some effects here, and this is the subgroup. <clears throat> 
channel strip okay and the only thing i put in here was eq and i topped up the drums a little bit so they they stood out in the mix and they were a bit more had a bit more air on them so they sounded a bit cleaner okay than the original <coughs> sample from drum loops hd <coughs> okay so there's that so what we're going to do now is we're going to affect the second the second uh, the second f and subtract so three so first of all i need to make adjustments to let me just Grab this in a bit. So this is the second one. I'm going to make some adjustments to the looping area for that. Yeah. Okay. So if we can move our thing to there and. We'll just solo this. So the same again. I'm not going to use the actual channel strip. I was happy with the EQ of the sound. And I think what we'll do this time is we'll put Saturn in there. See how powerful these effects processes are. And then I'm also going to put in some. as well and I think I'll okay so obviously this is starting to sound a bit mental but it doesn't matter because the point is I'm going to hit freeze here as well <clears throat> okay so we're done there so that's frozen that's clean so we're going to be down to pretty much zero cpu and what we're going to do now is i'm going <clears> to <throat> just play let me just take looping off a sec and we're going to just play the whole thing and just see how that sounds one sec that's because that's so load right so we'll just have a quick deck of what's going on so we can see so let's play now you, you can see now as well that once you freeze a track and this saves massive cpu usage once you freeze a track you'll oh by the way as well over the next few weeks i'm going to be doing uh getting started videos with aurea and all the other uh, all the other daws as well that i've i've got so we'll get a, a basic idea of what's going on with the different uh, audio workstations that you have for iOS, okay, and how to record instruments in and stuff like that. So first of all, we'll go back to the beginning. And we'll just play the whole thing and see how it sounds completed now. <laughs> There's some. I mean, the, these effects are, are amazing. You know, you could you could do an hour's worth of videos and not cover everything, everything that's that's available for for these effects. I mean, you, you know, if you pick like I said, uh, Timeless Two is an incredible like delay thing, but it does so much more. But if you pick, let's have a look at Volcano a sec. You have a look at Volcano. 
everything is you, the, the modulation alone where you can send different types of modulation to different things i'm not the greatest synthesis in the world and i'm not the greatest effects processor in the world but you don't need to be because if you hit default to uh, sorry uh, on the side chaining is great you can side chain automatically drums there any of the other tracks as well but um if you hit this there which is the thing here's all the different different sections that you have you have a clean but you say if you just go or oh, i want to i want to affect my synth look at all this oh, and that's just in that, that that one synth and these are just these, these are the piece effects that means massive massive amount of presets in all these um plugins that you can purchase and they are top top quality plugins they're not like naff they're amazing and uh, if you go over to the menu here and go to the audio store here and these are the uh, plugins at the top you can see you can get all of these plugins but like i said you know choose carefully otherwise you're gonna if you buy them all you're gonna spend a lot of money on plugins you know so uh, what we've just looked at uh, volcano 2 is one of the better price ones actually it's 19 dollars 99 cents which is about what 15 quid something like that so that's really that's a really good one timeless as well timeless 2 was 19 and um <coughs> saturn as well with this oh i got and then i think i got was it pro pro g maybe which is the more expensive one is 29.99 but you know you so you basically buy what you want I might eventually get the micro warm because I like that kind of analogy saturated sort of tape feel. So anyway, guys, hope you found this interesting and useful. And, uh, uh, you know, I'm going to be doing some getting started ones as well. So thanks for watching. And if you like it, uh, subscribe. It helps me out. <laughs> I'll see you later.